Hello everyone. In previous lecture, we discussed about the uh, stock dividend. In this lecture, we discuss about the stock split. A stock split is the method in which uh, uh, the purpose is to lower the stock price and to increase the number of shares. Whenever any company split their stocks, like if if a company split their one share into two parts, so it means that they are increasing their shares, but their prices will also, if this is a number of shares. And then price will also decreases number of shares increases and price if when they issue one share the price of one share if the price of one share is 10 rupee then after stock split the price of two shares will be five so uh, I, I will illustrate this in this example how the number of shares increases and how the stock prices decreases after the stock split so here we have one example dolme company a forest products concern has a 2 lakh shares of dollar 2 par value so they have a 2 lakh common shares par value is 2 and no preferred stock because stock is selling at a higher price the firms has declared a 2 for 1 stock split so here we have a question of two firms has declared a 2 for 1 stock split so here requirement is what will be the change in balance sheet uh, after 2 for 1 stock split so two for one stock split mean we are we are splitting one share into a two shares so here we have a uh, balance sheet before uh, stock split and here we will calculate a effect in balance sheet after two for one stock split so let's see what will be the change in balance sheet after two for one stock split so here common stock is 4 lakh paid in capital is 40 lakh and return earning is 20 lakh and the total stockholders equity sum of these three is equal to 6400 thousand 64 lakh so after stock split there will be just one change in uh, in, in this balance sheet like after stock split these two lakh shares will become 4 lakh how So 2 lakh shares multiply by 2 that's how we can calculate a new number of shares because this now is split one share into two parts and we can calculate a new price and already the par value is dollar 2 and we will multi we will divide this by 2 so new price is dollar one so we can calculate in after split after split number of shares and par value by multiplying number of shares by multiply by two and divide price by two so new price is dollar one and new number of shares are four lakh so four lakh multiply by one is equal to four lakh so paid in so common stock remains same there will be no change in paid in capital after stock, stock split there will be no change in retained earning after stock split there will also be no change in total stock stockholders equity after stock split just this packet will change after stock split so so that's how we can calculate new shares and new uh, power value after the stock split Thank you so much.